Monitor am gathering the multiverse to face its greatest threat yet. We will need every ally we can get, even unexpected ones. Meet me aboard the House of Legends. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So as you just saw, the House of Legend is finally here. A question that a lot of you guys had was, how can we get to the House of Legends? At long last, I can tell you how. So if you look, take a look at the Watchtower, you can see there is a portal in the Watchtower. So let me show you in the map. It's pretty much right next to where uh, our friend uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman are. And there is the very same portal in the Hall of Doom right next to the Gang War to the Portation Hub. Like you can see the Legion uh, Time Sphere over there. So you can see we're pretty much uh, in the center of the Hall of Doom. But you can also go to the Warp menu. You can see at the very top also Legends. So you could go to the also Legends using, using your Warp menu if you want to. But seeing how we're already here, let's use the portal. I already made a video about the House of Legends uh, from the test server, but uh, usually there's uh, changes that happen from the test server to the live server. So let's go take a quick look at the House of Legends on the live server. So here you can see we're in the very first room, which is called the foyer. I've seen the devs uh, struggle a lot with that word, so that would be foyer, foyer. Uh, basically, it says it is said as the the foyer and I remember seeing oh yeah there they are I would made a video or two where I had included our friend uh, Gar Gardner and Guy Gardner from the Red Lantern Corps and sadly they, they never made it into the video they they, uh, they got removed uh, in the editing process but here you can actually see our friends the two Guy Gardners from the Red Lantern Corps uh, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, duplicate versions of the same character but sometimes, uh, don't be fooled, sometimes it will actually be players like our friend uh, Karadon Kirkir. And I seem to... Oh yeah, there he is. And here we have our friend Lobo. So they've added a whole bunch of NPCs uh, to the House of Legends. So let's go around and let's take a look at them NPCs. So basically in this room here, we have a couple of portals. We have a portal to go to the League Hall. There should be a portal here. Ah, uh, it's not working yet. Um, I guess they're going to add more portals here, but uh, basically right now we have the legal portal. And if we go in that direction... Uh, let's explore a bit. If you guys saw my videos from the test server, uh, you probably saw this already, but uh, just in case. So here we have the Archive of Victory. Uh, let's show you on the map. There's basically four big rooms. There's the Foyer. There's the Archive of Victory. There's the Orrery Teleportation Hub. And there's the training room here. And here in the Archive of Victory, you will see a lot of vendors that will sell you gear. And there's our friend Ambush Bug here, but we're not going to talk to him just yet. And we can see our friend uh, Mr. Miracle here. Here we can see uh, the three hero mentors, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Here we can see our friend... Uh, Power Girl from the Blue Lantern Corps and Zatanna. There's the Star Sapphire Zatanna from the. Uh, she's the he heroic magic vendor. So basically, I'm just going to show you her. So basically, she's selling uh, styles like the Doctor Fate styles and various other styles that had to do with the uh, the Magic Wing and the Watchtower. Uh, but the distinction is that now evil villains will be able to come and see Zatanna and purchase hero styles if they want to. And uh, the same will be true for heroes. Like here we have uh, Red Tornado selling uh, the tech gear. We have Nubia selling, uh, selling the unique hero styles. Metamorpho selling the meta gear. Oh yeah. Here we have uh, Brother Warth from the Blue Lantern Corps. Could have sworn it was bigger than that, but uh, I could be misremembering. And we have, uh, oh yeah, here we have uh, Martian Manhunter from the Green Lantern Corps. Holy crap, does he look awesome. I love this look. And I hope that uh, someday they'll give us uh, that cape. We can only hope. Sometimes uh, the simpler ideas are the best, and uh, I... A Martian Manhunter that's part of the Green Lantern Corps. I'm surprised that uh, it hasn't been done before. Or if it has, uh, it's the first time I actually see it. Almost forgot, we have our friend uh, Primeval Batman over here from the Council of Batman. He's not very far from our friend uh, Martian Manhunter from the Green Lantern Corps. 
And if we go a bit further here, so here we can see uh, Lightning Lad from the Legion and Static. I guess they decided to put the two Lightning dudes uh, together. So here we have our friend Ursa who's selling uh, the, the Meteos gear, but from the evil villain side. So if you're a hero player and you wanted to purchase some villain styles, now you're going to have the option, the option to be able to do that. So here we have uh, Emerald Empress with the magic uh, styles from the hero, from the villain side. Here's our friend Kalabak. Uh, Kalabak has to do with one of the quests uh, that you have to do at some point. And here we have the evil star with the, the tech gear, or the tech styles, I should say, because they, they're only selling styles, or they're not selling gear. The so you can see selling uh, the Mr. Freeze uh, gear, or the Mr. Freeze style, for 10 source marks apiece. And Harley Quinn, which is the unique villain uh, vendor style. And we have our friend, uh, oh, Brother Bud. I thought Brother Blood would be turned into a vendor, but I guess he's uh, he's only a quest giver. So here we have obviously the three evil villain uh, mentors. And here we have our friend Lady Shiva. So uh, what Lady Shiva Those is selling... In the league who value the art of combat. Thank you. So what Lady Shiva is selling is the PvP styles, and she's selling, like you can see here in the case of the Ironaut style, she's also selling the Ironaut variant style. Now let's go see if she has the Huntress style. So for the Huntress, yeah, so for the Huntress, she's selling the, the Huntress back piece and the variant back piece. So I know there's some people who were uh, concerned, like some, ah, here they Someone was concerned about getting uh, the, the variant for the punchline the style. The style is here. Uh, they cost 100 source marks each, so it is a bit pricey. But you don't, you won't have to be to to play PvP if you want to purchase those tiles anymore. You're still going to be able to play PvP if you want to. But if somehow PvP is not your thing, you will be able to purchase those tiles from Lady Shiva. The exception to that is uh, the Nightwing gear or the Nightwing style and the Hush style, the Vengeful Surgeon style. Those you're going to have, you're going to have to purchase from Doctor Fate. We'll see Doctor Fate uh, in just a minute. Uh, here we have uh, our friend uh, Future Lex Luthor, which is selling the Exobite. So basically the uh, the Exobite for the, the Legend uh, characters for PvP Legends or PvE Legends. And here we have our friend uh, Superman from, mm, I forget if it's a Family Reunion or the other. And of course, the Batman from uh, the con one of the Batman from the Council of Batman. So here we have a teleporter to, make it to the main observation deck, teleportation hub, and again, this will take us to the foyer. And here we have, we have our friend, a gentleman ghost, who's selling uh, the appearance stuff. So basically he's selling hairstyles and he's selling skins. So if you want to purchase uh, extra skins uh, for your character or extra hairstyles, you can come and see your friend, a gentleman ghost. Uh, he probably doesn't have all the skins and the style and the, the hairstyles. Like if there's hairstyles that come from uh, from time capsule he probably doesn't have those but they should have uh, pretty much all the all the hairstyles from the main game or all the skins from the main game and we're pretty much back to ambush bug uh, we came from this way so let's use the other portal here they did a really good job with this new map i have to admit i love it So here, oh, let's go to the middle and we'll work our way from there. So here we have a uh, couple plus fans, which is uh, the latest vendor from the, the latest episode. So I assume uh, every episode, whenever they have a new episode, we'll have the, the, the vendor for the latest episode here. But I, I, things are, might change in the future from what we're told. And here there is our friend Tempest Fujinot. He pretty much replaces uh, the robot vendors from the Watchtower, the Hall of Doom. The portal that... will take you where you want to go. I can outfit you for when you reach your destination. Like, there's, there's robots vendors that, that when you go up in level, if you're not sure exactly which piece of gear you can purchase next, you can go see those robot vendors. Actually, it's even better than I thought. So if you're not sure which uh, gear you should purchase with your character, or you can purchase with your character, so you can see uh, to the top uh, right of the, core of the screen, you can see tier 1 if we press R2, so let's do that. So basically when you are tier one, 
you come here and you can purchase this this uh, this gear if you need to so if you're not sure which gear to purchase next you come here and you take a look at that gear so here we have the tier good tier two gear that you can purchase from this little guy tier three tier four tier five and it goes up to tier five although they did simplify uh, all the tiers so if you're not sure which gear you can purchase next with your character come see your friend uh, tempus Fujinot. And you'll be able to see you. Oh, the monitor. That's kind of cool. Fujinot, how fair is the aura reading? My guard over it remains unwaveringly vigilant, master. Good. My attention is needed elsewhere. Ah, he's gone. And I could have sworn there used to be. Okay. So here we have the pet vendor. I should want to purchase. Ah, oh, let's take a quick look. Combat pets. Different functions, different power levels, all depending on what you need. And if you have any trouble, I can provide additional support. So basically our friend is selling a whole bunch of pets. So if you need to purchase some pets, come see your friend uh, Chang Tzu. And here we have the loyalty vendor. You should be rewarded for your loyalty. And you shall. So this is pretty much the same thing that we get on the on the marketplace, but you can purchase it using your loyalty points. And here we have the Doctor Fate vendor. Lords of Order, grant us your faith. So there's a whole bunch of items that you could get from the vault that now you can get from uh, Dr. Fate, uh, items from Prometheum lockboxes, and there's a whole bunch of items like the gloves of clinging, or the journeyman boots, the speed boots, or the joker jetpack that was uber difficult to get from the vault. Now you can just purchase them from our friend Dr. Fate. The same with the OMAC trinket, the kryptonite, uh, the kryptonite the trinket. And a few other trinkets to be able to turn into uh, like a demon, to be able to turn into a lion, a man hunter, and so on. And I could have. Oh, yeah, there he is. And here we have our friend Professor Zoom. Ah, he looks like a boss. So, and we have a few portals here again. Uh, so, to the Archive of Victory. Uh, here we have a few things like a uh, broker, mail, the mail, the broker, the banks. And there's another portal here to the training room. And there's also briefings. Uh, I'll show you the, those briefings in a future video. Uh, sadly, on the test uh, server, when I collected those uh, briefings, all they gave was uh, five source marks. But we'll take a look at those anyway in a future video. So here we can see our friend uh, Luthor and Luthor. Uh, he found, uh, I guess he found someone he could have a real uh, conversation with. Uh, we have our friend uh, Ninja Batman here. They seem to have reused all the characters from the Council of Batman or the Council of Luthors. So here we can see our friend Rip Hunter, which is the latest uh, vendor that's been added to the game. So he's gonna have the, the, the latest gear. I already made a video about it, but uh, I'll, if I need to make an update, I'll do that in a future video. So here we have our friend uh, John Constantine selling the artifacts. Some strangers a bit out of touch with reality, but he's okay. So he's still selling the various catalysts and various artifacts you can have in the game. With our friend uh, the Adam, which is the R and vendor. It's impossible if you don't try it. And of course, we have a crafting station here. And if we go to the other side, uh, we have our friend Steve Trevor. I have no idea what he does just yet. I guess at some point he's going. They're going to turn him into either a quest giver or maybe a new vendor. We're gonna have to wait for that. We have our friend Cyborg, which is the Allies vendor. We'll come and see him in just a second. And we have our friend uh, Captain Adam, which is the, which is the Affinity mod Let me vendor. Just power these up. And what do you need? Uh, basically, the Affinity mods are if you have some elite pieces of gear. Uh, let's see if I still have some. So if you have some uh, elite pieces of gear, you have some Affinity mods that will give you bonuses. And let's take a quick look at our friend Cyborg. Ah, uh, we can't talk to him just yet. And there's also this uh, big teleporter. If you're wondering what this is for, let's go take a look. So you can see there's uh, basically four consoles where you can actually activate the teleporter. And uh, basically to, this will take us either to World of Flashpoint or to some of the Tier 1, Tier 2 maps like Striker Island, Central City and all that good stuff. Tier 3 and Tier 4. Tier 5. And Tier 6. So this teleporter will take you to the various open world map 
if you need to. So Sarborg has to do with the new ally system. Oh, and there's a few. Uh... So here we have our friend, uh, future Batman and comrade Diana. I probably should come in. Nah, it's the same. And uh, let's see if there's someone else I've missed. Uh, not yet. From what I understand, they are going to add more and more NPCs into the Hall of Legends as time goes by. Uh, there was a whole bunch. Like at some point, we had uh, there was Alex Luthor from the uh, from Origin Crisis, but uh, there there was a glitch on the forums at some point. At uh, the forums uh, on, the, on the test server at some point, where some of those NPCs would uh, clone themselves. Like at some point, you had like a half a dozen Luthor, half a dozen Superman, half a dozen Captain Adam. So I suspect they will uh, they will try to fix that glitch before adding uh, any more of those NPCs. But from what uh, Charon told us uh, on the forums, they will they are planning to add more and more NPCs to the Hall of Legends. And here we have uh, the training room. There's also uh, here we, this is where you can uh, respect. Ah, let's pick up the collection because why not? The collections also there's 12 collections, and on the test server all they gave was five source marks. So, so we still have brokers and mail and all that good stuff. And uh, I could have sworn, oh, there it is. So there's also a teleporter to go back to the foyer. Here we have our friend from the Justice Society of America. So we have a Hawkman, Hawk Girl, Wonder Woman from the Justice Society, Alan Scott, and Jay Garrick. Ah, that is so cool. So you have a whole bunch of uh, sparring targets that are modeled after uh, a Nightwing and Deathstroke. And here we have our friend Wildcats and Lady Blackhawk. I hope they're not going to fight. I'm sure they're just having a friendly match. And uh, so we all have a whole, whole bunch of uh, targets. Oh, and uh, here's our friend uh, General Lex Luthor. Could have sworn there was... Uh, oh, there she is. And here we have uh, Wonder Woman, but from the Star Sapphire. Uh, I love when they give us alternate versions of those characters. And of course, here we have uh, Nightwing and Deathstroke. And there is a mission for our, uh, with our friend Deathstroke. But we'll probably do that some other time. And of course, there are various uh, repair, skis repair machines. So if you need to sell and repair. Also, uh, from now on, all the vendors will be able to repair. So I'm not sure why they had done, uh, they had made it so that you could not repair with all the vendors. But now that's a thing of the past, every vendor will be able to repair now. So here we could go back to the main deck, but uh, I kind of like, uh, I got into the habit of uh, flying around, so let us do that. So let's go back over here, since we didn't go uh, this way just yet, but that will bring us back to where we started. Oh yeah. And I'm pretty sure they must have added stuff to the marketplace. Let's go take a look. So as you can see, they've added the allies to the marketplace. So you can purchase the flash for uh, 450 marketplace cash. Uh, it's probably 500 marketplace cash, but uh, as a as a legendary player, you get 10% off from the marketplace. So you can see it's 450. The same with Cyborg. The same with Professor Zoom. Oh, so these are the only three that are selling on the marketplace so far. I'm a bit surprised. I thought they were going to sell uh, the tier three allies. But the Flash, Cyborg, and Professor Zuma are actually tier 2 allies. And of course, you can purchase some rare alliance. So these are catalysts you will need to be able to upgrade your uh, your allies. The same with the Epic Alliance. So today, the House of Legends goes live. But also that means uh, it's pretty much the end of an era. The Vault is gone. The Stabilizer Fragmentation Mission is gone. The Prometheum Lockboxes are gone. But uh, it does add uh, a new reward uh, system, like uh, we have the open uh, daily reward menu. And you can see the new reward system, but uh, I will, I will, it's starting to be a long video, so I'll make a video just about the reward system. And there's also the new on duty menu, which uh, will probably require a whole video by itself. So you can expect at least a couple of videos about uh, the new House of Legends in the, uh, in the next couple of days. So there you go guys, so this is pretty much the end of an era for DC Universe Online, but it is also the start of a brand new era as well, which will give us a whole bunch of new stuff. I guess we'll have to wait and see.